everyone. Mark here again, bringing you another new and very exciting Way Cool review. This time around, we're going to be taking a look at, as of this moment, the current WWE champion, the best in the world, CM Punk, which is a part of Mattel's WWE Elite Series 16. Love him or hate him, CM Punk, the straight edge superstar, has easily become one of the WWE's most influential superstars. With the WWE Championship title reign spanning over a year with wins over some of WWE's biggest marquee names in the process, CM Punk continues to prove exactly why best in the world is more than a marketing slogan. The figure comes respectfully packaged in the same manner as other recent WWE Elite Series releases. We get a nice clear window, allowing us to see the figure packaged inside. Punk's pose is a little lackluster, but most aren't buying these figures for the in-packaging posing. The image of CM Punk, which has been commonly reused for most of his recent WWE toy releases, is seen near the bottom right. The packaging also exclaims that the figure does include the Best in the World t-shirt, which is visible just below. The image of CM Punk reappears on the back of the packaging at a larger scale. On the right side of the image, some biographical information is listed including nickname, height and weight, some of Punk's career highlights, and his signature moves. There is also a short paragraph hearkening back to the time frame this figure was based on. The bottom portion of the packaging's back displays other superstars that are also available a part of Series 16, including Ezekiel Jackson, The Rock, Heath Slater, Randy Orton, Diesel, and Kevin Nash. At one time, and perhaps even today, depending on who you ask, the Elite Series 11 figure had been the premier CM Punk figure to own. However, with the addition of a brand new head sculpt and quite possibly the most loved CM Punk attire, this figure does not disappoint. While CM Punk may have recently returned to a shorter hairstyle that more closely resembles that of the Elite 11 rendition, this figure instead comes with the slicked back hair, and it looks great. The hair strokes look very natural, giving it a realistic, combed back look. The Widow's Peak in Punk's hairline, while not as obvious as the Elite 11's, is still somewhat prominent and befitting. The beard is sculpted on rather than simply painted. It looks a tad bit thicker than what I believe CM Punk can truly accomplish, but it is still very well done. The hair and beard are painted a solid black. Previously, the Elite 11 figure came with a two-tone paint job on the hair using brown and black. I prefer the solid black seen here as it offers more continuity. In many ways, I think I prefer the facial expression that came with the Elite 11 Punk. It's a bit hard to get a read on just what emotion this Elite 16 Punk is trying to convey. It looks pretty calm and mellow for a CM Punk figure, hardly anything that looks like it's about to drop a pipe bomb. While I do believe the face itself looks like Punk, I wish Mattel would have opted for a different facial expression. The Best in the World t-shirt fits remarkably well. It doesn't restrict the figure's movement and does a terrific job at following the body lines. It's made from a thinner fabric, allowing it to feel very light. The design of the Best in the World t-shirt was done nicely, capturing the likeness of the real one. Some of the design was left out, including the actual Best in the World slogan on the back, which I would only consider a very minor drawback. Mattel continues to wow me by delivering such accuracy when it comes to tattoos, and on a guy like CM Punk, it definitely matters. The tattoos look very similar to the Elite 11 figure, but only this time there's much more color and detail in the tattoo cascading across Punk's chest. In my opinion, Mattel is consistently getting better at capturing the likeness of each superstar. I believe that I could honestly compare this figure with an image of CM Punk and identify almost every tattoo from individual pieces on his arms and chest. the straight edge tattoo on his stomach, 
and drug-free tattoos across his hands. One issue that I wish Mattel would address better in some way is the blank areas on the shoulders of CM Punk. We all know that Punk has a Pepsi tattoo on one shoulder and a Cobra tattoo on the other. I understand there are licensing and trademark issues, but couldn't Mattel at least put similar generic shapes in its place? The paint applications on the attire are clean and durable. Mattel is a consummate professional when it comes to recreating the tires of the WWE roster. The Elite 11 and this figure are adorned with the same attire. However, this time the paint job is much more accurate. The paint application on the boots itself are far more extensive than before and the detailing on the tights are 100% accurate now. The white elbow pad or wrap looks good and stays in place. It does tend to get in the way of a full elbow bend, but still allows a decent degree of movement. Mattel needs to consider making a different choice when it comes to knee pads for CM Punk. These oversized knee pads should be reserved for guys like Triple H and Stone Cold. These look more like knee supporters than simple pads. Punk should be much shorter and tighter. Consequently, these large knee pads sort of render the double jointed knees useless. I'm sure this has been brought to Mattel's attention before, so I can't understand why a problem so minor hasn't been dealt with yet. CM Punk comes with the same articulation as other elite base bodies, which includes a ball jointed head, ball jointed hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, single jointed swivel wrists, abdominal crunch, hip swivel, ball jointed legs, swivel at the top of the leg, double jointed knees, swivel at the top of the boot, and a single jointed ankle. In the future, I would like to see the Elite Series line come with double jointed elbows. With that, it would open up the ability to allow superstars like CM Punk be able to perform one of his signature moves listed on the packaging, the Anaconda Vice. I would also like to have been able to do the patented straight edge, crossed arms X pose, or the GTS pre finisher call sign, but with the current arm articulation, it's just not possible. The accessory of the Best in the World t shirt was a great addition, but I feel like more could have been added. The inclusion of a WWE Championship or microphone would have been a nice addition. It was a momentous year in WWE history, and with a climbing title reign, who can tell what's in store next for CM Punk. If you happen to find this figure become available to you, and you're on the fence, I highly suggest that you take the plunge. This figure represents a time that will surely be looked back upon as a revolutionary moment in WWE history. For more great toy reviews, be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. I'm Mark, and this has been another Way Cool Review.